but the purpose of that was to bring awareness and justice for Vanessa. Um, because the, although that was in Texas, it still affects us here. Sure. Uh, it affects our community. Um, for what's going on in Fort Hood, you know, um, we want to uh, do our part because there are other parts of the United States that are shining light on that are, you know, asking for justice for Vanessa. And mm -hmm. we felt we had to do our part as well. So that way um, her voice is heard throughout the whole United States, you know, and um, it was about bringing awareness to it, um, telling people, telling the young women, you know, if these problems are occurring there when you're signing up to serve your country and you can't even be protected and, you know, you're serving your country, then we're telling the women, the young women, don't sign up right now. You know, wait till they fix the problem because, you know, it's not right for you for you to protect your country and then anything goes there and then they want to cover it up and things like that. So um, that was part of it. And another part of it was the um, talking about the ROTC programs, how they have a big program here, I believe, in East High mm -hmm. and they recruit you know, young Latinos, Latinas, or anybody, minorities, mm -hmm. even, you know, um, would you, yeah. And I think they go there because they feel that in Aurora, the community, especially the east side, it's more lower income, and they feel that a lot of the people there don't have a way out. So they want to come recruit them to the military, promise them all these things, and then they go not really understanding what they're getting themselves into. And then they get there thinking, okay, I'm going to have a better career, better life, I'm going to serve my country, and then these type of things happen to them, you know? So it's not just the fact that she got murdered. Um, it's the assaults, the violence, the sexual assaults, and all that that happened there too, and maybe the way they treat you, uh, you know? So it, it was a lot of different things that we felt that we had to speak up about. And when we were there, there was a lot of women there, and that's what I liked. There was more women than men there at that moment. saw that. And a lot of them were speaking up on... Um, sexual violence and all that uh, you know in the military some of them were women that served in the military mm -hmm. and then it goes back to not not just the military um it also goes back to the culture of the people to men to the families to the boys in general as they're growing up um there were some women there talking about you know it, it's even in our families you know and we need to start teaching our kids the boys how to respect women while they're young um, because at now, if you don't teach them that as they get older, this is what happens when they go to the military. You know, you go to the military as, as a young man, you go with this mentality that you're ready to fight, you know, war and all that. So you're really uh, hyped up. And um, then the way, the way you were brought up as far as dealing with women, not uh, having that respect or, you know, you feel you're dominant, things like that. And those type of things from your childhood, you know, they take shape when you're in the military and it creates those type of problems. So it's the military, yes, but it's all, it goes all the way back to why we're growing up of, you know, why we felt we had to speak on that to bring it all up, bring it all up. And even just a matter of speaking up, like some people, you know, they won't say anything. So again, just kind of bring that to light, especially with young women. Yes. That you have to raise your voice and, you know, call right. out these wrongs. Yeah. And um, so the fact that they see us speaking up and we had all the other women there, we're letting them know, like, don't be afraid. We're here. We got you. We're going to support you. And if you feel you have to speak up, speak up, you know, because this is the only way we're going to make change. You know, we're going to speak up, but also we're going to look to make the change. We're not just going to talk and then that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to do things about these type of things. I'm glad that you...